The two died as a result of suffocation in the congested cells were identified as William Agbowonu, 31, and Issa Kasalifu, 27. According to TV Africa's investigations, Isaka had a confrontation with one Akushika, a resident of Ashaiman, who alleged that the deceased was calling Akushika Chewa in a derogatory manner, which led to the exchanges leading to Isaka allegedly assaulting the complainant. The police, who were tight-lipped over what led to the death of the two, only told this reporter that investigations are underway. But TV Africa News investigations revealed that the deceased died as a result of excessive heat on Sunday and Monday in the cells. Earlier, the Ashaiman Municipal Chief Executive, Adino Tenumo, and the coordinating director, Alhaji Ibrahim Tijani, were at the station to ascertain the cause of the death. The chief executive explained that plans are underway to create a ventilation point to avert further deaths of other inmates. I realized that the ventilation is very bad. So immediately we have asked our engineering department to do something about it. They are going to do some ventilation and fortify it so that uh, the inmates can get out. And there's the need for us to expand the cells so that it will take care of the number of people in it. Later, the Director of Public Affairs of the Police Service, DSP Kwesifori, and his entourage were at the police station to obtain first-hand information regarding the unfortunate incident. Speaking with TV Africa News, he hinted that the death of the two is regrettable and that full-scale investigations have begun to unravel the mystery behind the death. <laughs> And that presently the matter is being investigated you know, to ascertain how come the cause of the and also to look at improving the conditions here. He later inspected a multi-million purpose police station at Mataheko being constructed by MF's constructions and 4x4 four four Tata vehicles to enhance effective policing in the area. He commended the firm for their kind gesture and appealed to the public and other stakeholders to help the police in their operations.